Hey everyone, how are you doing today? It is another Sunday and that means we have another children's message just for you. And since it's Lent, that also means we have another special story from Carolyn and Connor to help us. I wonder what the story is going to be about this week. Let's see. Hey, let's go see what those guys are doing over there. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're building a doghouse for a dog spot. Wow, can I help? Where are the instructions? We don't need instructions for what we're building. Yeah, instructions are for nerds. And we're not nerds. Ah! <laughs> Believe me when I say, I really think you need the instructions. Why would we need the instructions? Because it may not come out the way you want it to. Yeah, I'm not sure it's supposed to look like this. Fine, you can help. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Thanks for helping us. Turns out we did need those instructions. No problem. Hi, Connor. Guess what I just did? What? I just helped some guys build a doghouse. Fun! How did it go? Great! At first they didn't want to use the instructions because they thought they were too cool for them. But I showed them the way. Sometimes we just have to be shown the way. Jesus shows us the way. And it's not always fun. It's not always easy. And it won't make us cool. But it is what God wants for us. Can I have a dog? No. Cat? No. Hamster? No. Bunny? No. Lizard? No. Iguana? No. Fish? No. Parrot? No. I am so lucky that I have this desk I get to work from. Remember how I was talking about that a few weeks ago? Early on in the pandemic, and I realized I was going to be working from home a lot more, I knew I needed a space to do it all on because I didn't really have a desk. So I found a good deal on this. I ordered it, and I had to put it together myself. It was a really heavy box, and it took a couple hours for sure. Sometimes there are points in the instructions that just didn't make any sense to me. <laughs> You know how they show a picture, but you can't quite tell if the picture is showing you this side or that side? There was a lot of that. And if you're looking closely, you might notice the places where I did not quite follow the instructions just right, but I followed it enough that I have this great desk to work from now. So every time I look at this desk, I can be reminded of the work I put into it and how much I needed those instructions because the instructions were hard to follow, but it would have been a lot harder without them to look at. So, our story from Connor and Carolyn today reminds me of that. That we need instructions. Not so we can be perfect, but so that we can kind of follow according to the way it's kind of meant to be. And... When we hear the story like today's gospel of Jesus in the temple getting really angry and flipping tables and um, really upset with the instructions that the priests and people had set up for themselves there, it wasn't just because he's saying those rules are wrong, don't follow the rules. It was because he saw that these instructions were actually harming the original intention, the original instructions and rules and purpose of what that worship space was supposed to be all about. So when we follow Jesus and we follow Jesus' way, it's really about getting to the heart of the intention. We see the instructions not as a rule to follow perfectly and step by step, if we do it just right, we're going to all have completed it in the most perfect way and we are going to be so great. It has to do with restoration and being returned to our original intention, the way God originally intended us to be and live in relationship with each other, in relationship with God, 
and a relationship with the world. So when we follow the way of Jesus, sometimes it's going to mean flipping tables, and sometimes it's going to mean following the instructions the best we can to create something that does its job, that God can work through. And you know, that's the cool thing. God will work through any of it. God works through all of it. So today, pay attention to ways that you might be led to follow some instructions, but mostly pay attention to the ways God is leading your life, the instructions, the ways that you are interacting with the Bible, the ways you're interacting with your faith, the ways you're interacting with the people in your life so that you can be led to the way that God has created you to be. Have a great week and I'll see you next week.